So it's 2008 that I was diagnosed and, and the GPs at the time believed that I had it for a number of years beforehand. And it's funny when I look back, because I used to get kind of stomach aches and this kind of you know, ache in my side for, for quite a few years and always ignored it and always thought, you know, oh, when I was early 20s, you know, I'd been out on the pop or, <laughs> you know, been for a curry or something like that, you know, and there was always an excuse of to what it was. And then when I was told that I actually had it, it, it presented itself um, in, in quite an acute bout. Um, I, I became ill in the last week of October in 2008. Um, and by the 1st of November, I was in hospital. Um, and I'd had quite a, a severe attack on my liver. Um, I was jaundiced, um, you know, feeling really rough. I didn't actually come out of hospital until the 21st of December, so I was in almost two months. Um, and so for me, it was rather than a gradual, you have PSC and it, and it coming on over a number of years, it was like a short, sharp shock um, that you, know, you have it. <laughs> and at some point, this is gonna you know, take effect. I think you know, some people that I've spoken to you know, who have the condition have had it come on gradually over a number of years. So they've obviously experienced quite a different scenario. I went through a number of tests over quite a few weeks before they confirmed it. You know, number of biopsies, um, scans, you know, all sorts of things. And they were ruling out um, different types of hepatitis. I, I've also got an overlap condition uh, called autoimmune hepatitis as well as PSC. Um, but it's been the PSC that's gradually kind of taken hold over the last kind of eight and nine years. Uh, and that was the cause of you know, me having to have the transplant in the end, and that's what they treat. I didn't know anything to begin with. When they started talking about it, the first thing I went was on the internet, which is probably the worst thing you can do. And you know, it's definitely what everybody does. Um, but again, I was fortunate that I only live just down the road from the hospital and was treated here at the queue. It was actually the old Selly Oak Hospital at the time, uh, and then over onto the old liver ward. Um, and I've, again, been fortunate that I had James Ferguson pretty much from the beginning. Um, and it was explained to me once I kind of came on to their kind of track, so to speak, you know, the, they explained it to me really, really well. Um, and then over the kind of couple of years, um, I was under Gideon Hirschfeld, um, who, you know, and both him and James have been brilliant with it. Um, but again, to, you know, at the very beginning, there was very little information that I was given. It was, um, you know, it was quite a few months before I really understood what it was and what it was actually going to do to me over a period of time. I, th I think what PSC support are doing is, you know, is fantastic. I think because it's, a, you know, a relatively unknown quantity, and there's still a huge amount of research that needs to be done with PSC. I think you know, the support for younger people particularly. Uh, you know, I was in my mid-twenties, but I'm seeing more and more people now in their kind of teens and early twenties coming onto the support group or just online in general.